It was absolutely phenomenal. And oh my goodness, <laughs> where'd he come from? And with that, let's welcome okay. him in. Ilya Teporia, listen, you retain your undefeated record. DC was calling it a masterclass. Do you feel that was a masterclass for you? Mm, it will be a masterclass if I would finish him in the first round. <laughs> I never like to go to the distance. It feels a little bit, I don't know, I, I don't like that that feeling I always like to finish my opponents but I have to uh, say thank you to God to, to get the win that's all what was it exactly what you expected was it harder than you thought it was going to be was he tougher than you expected yeah he was really tough <laughs> I don't know with how many punches I catch him but the guy was really tough really really tough I don't know how many jabs I connect him how many hooks how many right hands <laughs> tough do you feel like you're going to grow from that a lot, but yeah. at the same time, I feel really proud about me because I administrate all my, my my energy really well in, in in the fight. I was with energy in in all the rounds, and yeah, I I did I think I, I did a good job. You so know. so you said if it'd be a masterclass if you finished him in the first round. Obviously, you didn't. You spent 25 minutes in there with him. What are some of the things that you can take away from that 25 minutes of spending in there with Josh Emmett? Can you repeat the question, please? Like, what did you learn in that 25 minutes being with Josh Emmett? I learned that I always think that I, 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 I can finish everyone. And despite, I learned that there are uh, really tough guys in, in the division. But at the end of the day, I win, and that's all. So, so now that you, you win in there, and of course, before the fight, you never want to look past your opponent. But I'm sure you have an idea of where, kind of where you want to be and, and what does this look for like for your career? Like, this puts you in a really fantastic position in the division. It puts me directly to for, for the title shot, without any doubt. I'm the next guy. You, you are going to see me fight for the title next. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we were talking about this being a big step up in competition for you. No disrespect to everybody saying that, but to Bryce Mitchell leveling up to the number five fighter with Josh Emmett. So how much of a difference did you notice? Not only maybe in power, but just the fact that you couldn't get rid of him five rounds later. He's still coming on strong. If not at the end, that's when he was almost the most dangerous. The only thing that surprised me from Josh it was that he was tough. I connected him with a lot of shots. I was faster than him, more powerful, everything. I, I was better than him tonight. That's why I beat him pretty easy. Yeah. Uh, if they, what you know, we got uh, Max Holloway's getting ready to fight the Korean Zombie. What if they were to come to you and say, you know, maybe a Max Holloway fight is next or, or something like that? Arnold Allen. If, it, I don't know if they bring me to Max Holloway in Spain. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't oh. say Ooh. yes without me any too. doubt. I'll go with you. <laughs> yes, yeah. me I'll too. <laughs> in Spain, yes, let's do it. If not, I want to fight for the title. Well, you know, speaking of Spain, your brother is a fighter as well, yeah. right? So I remember when we first met you on Fight Island, it was kind of like the two best jujitsu guys in Spain, right? Is that the case? That was true. Yeah, of yeah. course, without any doubt. So what is the future with him fighting? Would you guys ever maybe be side by side here in the UFC? What are his aspirations and how much does he help you? you you're going to see him fight soon in the UFC, too, without any doubt. Yeah, he will be fighting in the UFC. I think when I'm going to fight for the championship belt, he will be fighting in the same car with me. Yeah, so you're, yeah. you're better than he is, though, huh? No. <laughs> no way. And humble. I, 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 I didn't compare myself with, with my brother. I hope he will accomplish more things than me. I wish him all the best. I love him from oh, the I bottom of my, my heart. So I wish him everything I wish for myself. I love that. You know, for, on the outside looking in, it seemed that you were cruising through that fight. And but was there any time in that fight where you felt maybe he was coming on or you were in trouble? No, I, I didn't feel in, uh, any time in trouble. I was he, he, he was like starting the round really hard, throwing a lot of power punches. But then he was like going down. So I was like waiting a little bit. In, in the first minutes, and then I was like starting with my jabs, with my combinations, and I would have ending all the rounds harder than him. The the only other time that we've seen you with like that level of patience was when you were in there with Ryan Hall, and you know he's got the goofy jujitsu style, and it's really dangerous. Was it difficult for you? Because you, you're always so aggressive and, and pushing forward, and 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 you never you're always willing to open up right was it difficult to stay patient and while watching him throw big and want to counter and throw with him when i go inside that cage for me it it looks like a chest chest ma right. match you know so when i have to be patient i'm patient and when i have to be aggressive i'm aggressive you know i, I stay patient when i uh, i get that chance to 
to put a power and, and aggressive, I go for that.